everyone, Janelle here from The Dancer's Edge. Today I'm going to show you five different exercises that you can do to improve the height and explosiveness of your jumps. As you do these exercises, I want you to think about pushing hard off of the ground. So this pushing hard off the ground, the more strength that you put into that pressure pushing off the ground, the ground is pushing sort of back against you and the higher, more explosive, more power that you're going to get out of these exercises and therefore also in your jumps. I also want you to think about pushing faster off the ground. So the faster that you push off the ground, again, the more power, the more explosiveness and the more height that you're going to get off of these exercises as well as in your jumps. So you're going for pushing hard and pushing fast in all of these exercises as well as your jumps. To get that height and power out of your jumps, you need strength. And strength is what we're focusing on with these five exercises that we have here today. We're starting off with a broad jump and crouch run. Your feet should be about shoulder width apart and your arms up. As your arms swing back, you're going to plie, bring your hips back into a squat position, and then swing your arms forward as you drive your feet into the ground, pushing your hips forward and explode forward off the ground. When you land, you're gonna land on two feet and ending back into a, a squat position. Once you do a single broad jump, then you're going to run back, staying low in the run back to engage your legs a little more. You're definitely gonna feel this one. I started out resting 30 seconds between sets with this exercise, but I had to bump it to 45 seconds to a minute because I just couldn't keep the same amount of jumps with that little of a rest time. So I would recommend doing three sets of these and 12 jumps in a set. The next exercise we have is a knee drive with jump. With this exercise, you're gonna drop down into a lunge position, one hand on the ground, and then push off of your supporting leg all the way through, really drive with your calf and work all the way through the foot, thinking of pushing off of that big toe as well. For this exercise, you're going to do three sets of these, eight on each leg. So you would do eight on the left and then eight on the right, rest and then repeat two more times. Our next exercise is kneel to squat to box. With this exercise, you're going to really engage your quad muscles and your core. You're gonna push up quickly to your feet and then up onto the chair. Here, I use my arms to get me from the squat position to the chair, but after you practice it, you can take the arms away and just completely rely on your leg muscles to get even more engagement and work out of those quad muscles. For this exercise, you're gonna do three sets of 30 seconds. Our third exercise is a plyo step up. For this, you will need a chair or something that you can step up onto and jump off of. You're going to step up, drive through with the knee, push off and jump off the chair, switching legs as you go through. For this one, I want you to think about speed as well. So trying to go as high as well as as fast as you can. For this exercise, you would do three sets of 30 seconds with a 30 second rest. So 30 seconds exercise, 30 seconds rest, and then two more times of that. And our final exercise is the rear foot elevated jump. Kind of like a tuck jump, I really pick up my foot as I push off of it. Again, using speed and explosiveness to really push off the ground. I actually really love this exercise. It'll definitely get your heart pumping. For this one, you're doing 30 seconds of exercise with 30 seconds of rest. And I would actually recommend doing 30 seconds of one foot, then the next set doing 30 seconds of the other. And for the final set, switching halfway in between the 30 seconds. And that wraps it up for today. After you complete these exercises, you can do five to 10 minutes of some light stretching to cool down. Add these exercises to your weekly workouts to build that jump strength and leave a comment below to let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear from you. And like this video to let me know if you'd like to see more like this. Subscribe to join the crew and I'll see you next time, dancers.